This is Priscilla Batzel, and I'm in Spring Hill, Florida, and this is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And this is a pre-primed black canvas with another light layer of meading on it to help paint flow. And I'm kind of hoping to do something that's a little bloomy, a little celly, a little lacy with some of my new prism pour colors and my new primary elements colors from Color Art. And should you be interested, there is a 20% off coupon code below the video, along with the link to the website. I don't think it matters what I do here, so long as I don't leave too many marks, I'm all good. I'll wipe that off, throw it in the bucket, big square bucket. I'm going to make puddles and marks, and I'm just going to have some fun with my colors. This is abalone. I may tip, I may not tip, I may spin, I may not spin. I intend on spinning, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. And I have palette knives ready to go. So the abalone, the abalone, the abalone is basically a conveyance. And I wasn't going to use any of the agave blue, but I love this color so much. I'm just going to have to give myself permission. And let it actually dictate. I got four, let's do five. It may not even show up. I'm just going to use as many of my colors as I want. This is Miami Magenta. These are both prism pores. I'm not sure how much I'm going to overlap. Usually people just put their colors right on top of each other. And I'm pretty sure that I will be overlapping at some point in time. This is a deep crimson. This is a gorgeous color. Just beautiful. Take that little tab out of there. And then I have the Cupid's Crush, which is a primary element. Another absolutely stunning color. Yeah, I love this. Let's just link them up. I wasn't going to, but I am. This is a primary element. This is a bling it golden maple. I recommend buying some of this, honestly. It has the best shimmer of all. It's a wonderful color gold. And I don't think I can have too much of it. And this isn't new, but it's relatively new. I guess Plum Blossom is from the, uh, the Frosted Sorbets set of primary elements, which I should have marked primary element on my bottle. I kind of wanted purples and oranges to be the dominating theme of this. So in my mind, starting with what I want to add, <laughs> indulge myself in the colors I just started with, because they're underneath, they're less likely to be the dominating colors, at least in my mind. This is indigo violet. This is one of the new colors. This is a prism pour. Just mixed these in the last two days. I mixed like 11 new colors in the last two days. Now, I could have put them in a dish and, sh and scooped them out, and that would have been fun, too. Put some of those away. I have Honeysuckle, which is an awesome color. Just absolutely shimmer and shimmery and delicious and gorgeous. Probably gonna, oh, those are pretty. Wow. I'm thinking about putting large spirals in. This is maroon. This is another gorgeous color. Really beautiful. Reminds me a little bit of the black raspberry. And 
And I'm going to use some of my older sour lemon with orange crush mixed into it. And I'm hoping that my husband, who's having a rough afternoon <laughs> with his doctor's appointments, is not going to continue to try and talk to me while I'm making a movie. <laughs> but you never know. It could probably happen. So two more colors left, and I'm good to go. This is Wild Orchid. This is a prison pour. I'm so, I'm so thrilled to have this, i got to tell you. Really, really beautiful. Don't mind the man talking to himself in the other room. Believe me, he's earned his frustration. This is Saffron. This is a color that Leslie Olmstadt made up because I asked for a repetition of the Big Apple with Orange Crush mixture that I was using a lot of. And it is fabulous. I think I might go back again and add a little more abalone just because I like the white. And it's so tempting. The, the, um, I have a Mystique. I have Egyptian Blue. I have a Sparkling Aqua that's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I hear people creeping in the hallway, so maybe they figured out I'm making a recording. <laughs> Hopefully, people meeting my husband. All right, a little, a little abalone won't hurt anything. Let's move a few more colors out of the way in case I decide to spin. The only thing I really want to do is go back and add more golden maple, but I really. I really don't think I need it. All right. I keep saying all right and then not following through. Let's grab a combination. Let's grab a dish and some Amsterdam white, Amsterdam black, my palette knife. I have some Mayan gold. I have some Atelier light co um light cobalt turquoise it's called <laughs> i can get this right and i think that'd be really pretty with that so i'm going to start by trying the white and and the black on a small palette knife just to see and let's give it some of the atelier light tur cobalt turquoise first Once I start, I may tip. And I'm going to just find myself a scrape dish and keep taking my colors right off. This time I'm going to use the black. I'm going to have to use a, a larger palette knife, I can tell, or it's going to take forever. to put some spirals in and I thought I was going to put them in afterwards but I'm really beginning to wonder if maybe if I put some in now it might be okay and I'm pretty sure I can still swipe through them and the colors will still be there so it's not going to make it difficult to do that I really did want to make big spirals anyway And I also wanted to tip. I'm thinking about a big palette knife, although I really love this little these little bits of cell activation. I don't see a lot of the turquoise. And I ought to at least make it equal. Excuse me. I'll be right back. I'm recording. 
recording a video, okay? I'm back. <laughs> it's just one of those days. So I love those. So it's really hard to stop wanting to do them. Unfortunately, my studio rag is still wet from yesterday, which is a good thing because I didn't. I don't think I remembered to do it today. Whoops. That just makes me want to go all the way down there. Still a little bit of paint. Kind of want to do it everywhere now. <laughs> Since I still have swipeability in the rest of it. Oh, I wish that was... I just petted the cat. That's my, my problem. Just sort of extending those little, take that bubble out too. And I'm still thinking about tipping. Colors are fantastic, so I really can't get it wrong as long as there's an interesting design. And it, it is a little interesting. I'm going to steal a little of that paint there that I dribbled. And I'm thinking about doing the same thing on the ends. I'd really like to do it in between, too. Let's just keep being creative. Making more caterpillars these days, I guess. Which is what it's reminding me of right now. Don't mind changing the colors up or adding little flourishes. Steal a little paint from here and there. I like the little tips on things. It's kind of fun. Take that bubble out. Crazy caterpillar. Or something. I haven't thought about spinning, but I still could. I think the colors are going to be tremendous. I'm kind of focused, so I'm not talking a lot. I'm very self-conscious about that. It's fun, whatever it is.
It's kind of buggy though. <laughs> be hard to deny that. I'm loving those little things, whatever they are. I've used up most of my time. And I have three minutes to tell you guys I love you. You inspire the heck out of me. I'm so glad you're here. I post at 2.15 Eastern Standard Time. 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested in finding more videos, you can go to playlists, all playlists, my creative playlists on my YouTube channel. Or my community board will show you what's going to play tomorrow. This is an easy, this is not a hard way. It's a good way to get rid of some bubbles. When I see them, I can pounce on them for the most part. So what can I tell you guys? The PayPal icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner will enable you to make a donation to help keep the studio producing videos. If you like what I do, let me know by sharing a comment or asking a question. I'm happy to answer questions. If I can help, I will. I'm almost done and I haven't spun. colors are great no matter what I know I keep being repetitious but I kind of want to spin just because because I can whoops <laughs> one side is catching oh no okay so that's kind of all right these look like they need a little tending to. It's a buggy dragon. Otherworldly for sure. Well, if I could make sure that that wasn't going to do that again, I would spin. And I just put a white fingerprint. Right there, but fortunately I have some black paint. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check my paint pouring recipes are underneath show more underneath the underneath the link tree, underneath show more also. And there's always a 20% off coupon code along with the color art website. And if you shop my Amazon link on the link tree, you help me out the same way you would help me out if you shop my link tree, excuse me, shop my color art link because I'm an affiliate. I like what happened there. That's pretty bizarre. I love the morphing of the spirals. That is so cool. I don't know if I can show you this or not. I've got one minute left. I'll try. I'll try and shimmer it at you, but it usually takes me a minute to turn the lights out so you can see it. I've got some bubbles I'll be popping after the video is gone, ended. Crash. Oh well. That golden maple is to die for. That is just beautiful. And it looks like I, I'm offset. That's weird. There we go. Maybe that's better. I probably should have done some more cell making, some more swiping, but I really liked what I had, so I resisted a little. And I have all kinds of little bubbles here, there, and everywhere that I will be popping. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I wish you all well. Whatever I've forgotten, you'll see in another video. If you'd like to see anything, any of my designs made into clothing or merchandise that's available on my spring